Thank you very much. I would like to invite Dr. Anders Jeroskog, uh, the counselor at the Swedish International uh, Councilor at the Swedish Embassy. Uh, please.
beyond the humanitarian challenges. There are actually development challenges, and I think we heard the Minister, uh, His Excellency Hasim al Nasser, talk about it yesterday. The challenges for Jordan, uh, the challenges, similar ones in Lebanon, primarily, but also in the, the other neighboring countries, uh, and of course in, in Syria. And Sweden wants to address this by supporting uh, actors and the countries surrounding uh, Syria to help them address challenges, and water is, is one of those challenges that, uh, that may be. May be supported um, because the influx of the refugees bring uh, bring these challenges uh, in, in terms of consumption of water, or if there's need to upgrade the wastewater treatment plants, etc. Um, another thing I'd like to highlight also uh, as a perspective from, from Sweden, uh, you all know that we have recognized the state of Palestine, and we think that is a, a, a good step. Uh, we also. Uh, see that as something that brings uh, the Palestinians uh, more as, uh, as equals. Um, we need to acknowledge, and this was highlighted by, by a few speakers yesterday, the power asymmetries between uh, the different players. And unless you are able to engage and at a somewhat uh, equal level, uh, the end result will not be sustainable, we think. Uh, we talked about fair sharing, we talked about equitable sharing, and I think this is key. Um, in this area, this is key everywhere uh, where I've been engaged in transboundary systems. You need to, to find something that is sustainable also on, on a, uh, an equitable, uh, from an equitable perspective and based on international law. Munkef, um, to conclude, has outlined the, the importance of, of, uh, of the Lower Jordan uh, River um, and the basin as such uh, as, a, as, a, as a shared ecosystem. We talked about water, but we also talked about bird migration and the importance of that, not only for the people living here, but also for, for, uh, for the globe, um, to, to keep this ecosystem uh, in place. And I think uh, what you're doing here today and the vision that you're, you're trying to, to, to push and promote, uh, I salute you for this, uh, but it's, it, it needs to be continued to be, to be promoted. Because unless um, we address the challenges relating to our shared or your shared ecosystem that also have, uh, have, have global implication. It's a global public good, in, in my view. Um, we will not, uh, or we will face severe challenges uh, in the years to come. So I would like to, uh, to uh, once again, um, thank you for being able to address and uh, support this project um, from, the, from the Swedish government's perspective. And I will encourage all of you to engage uh, with the vision uh, to, to come to um, a peaceful solution in which all the important aspects of the, not, not only the environment but of the peoples also in the region uh, are, are highlighted and recognized. Thank you very much.